What's going on guys? It's your boy 3D Print Dude. Today I'm going to show you how to add supports to your prints with a bamboo printer. So if you have a bamboo studio printer, or just a bamboo printer I guess you call it, I'm going to show you how to add supports to your printer, right? Chances are you're using Bamboo Studio, which is what you should be using, well, what a lot of people use with it. So step number one is to go into Bamboo Studio. And then what we want to do here is we actually want to make sure we have the right printer selected over here on the left hand side. These are should be your presets, right? Select your printer and then uh, choose your filaments. And then if you go down a little bit more, there's five tabs right here, right? Quality, strength, speed, and support. Click on the support tab. And what we want to do here, there's two different types of supports. And it's really kind of going to be up to you what you want to choose here. Uh, by the way, this print is Jolteon. It's a Pokemon. And this print calls out for supports. So, and how I know you're going to need supports is things that, areas that stick out where the print isn't going to be able to print and it's going to need something to hold it. You'll learn more about this. Chances are when you get a little further into this. Uh, so what we want to do here is click on enable support in the support tab here and uh, usually it's called normal supports. This is what it's called normal and if we click on the preview tab this is what we would do is say if like we're done uh, editing this print click on the preview tab here and it's going to preview it all and put it together to show us what it looks like to go to the printer. It's going to move to the next step if that makes sense. So this is what the normal supports look like. And again, usually what happens is the print just kind of like breaks away really easily. Here, I'll move my face over here. And it gives us a bunch of other cool stuff like the total time it takes, um, the top surface, the line types, all the everything that goes on with the print over here. This is really important data to look at. You'll start reading it. Um, but there's another style of uh, supports. And to go back to edit, we want to click on this prepare tab. And um, what we want to do is click this other type of supports. It's tree. It's called tree supports, which is kind of a weird name, but that's what it is. And again, the these ones below here, this is if you want to manually add supports. But if you're new to 3D printing, I highly advise you not do that. Uh, so what we're going to do is click on the tree and then we're going to click on preview because I want to see what this looks like. And a lot of times you can kind of uh, just take a second, look at the preview and just take a look and see if like you think the tree supports are going to work better versus the normal supports. Something small like this, um, me and my daughter have been printing a lot of Pokemon and something smaller like this, I have better luck with the tree support. They kind of just break away a little easier, but you're going to have to learn this and just maybe do some different printing and see what you like more. And yeah, it's actually less printing time because I feel like there's a lot less material it has to print. And probably in this case, I would go with the tree supports. And it's as simple as that, guys. Hopefully this has helped you learn how to add supports to your Bamboo Studio printer and your Bamboo prints. Um, hit me up in the comments. I'm a normal dude and I will reply. Please consider subscribing too. I'm new to this and I'm trying to get to 1,000 subs. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.